when you're home with your newborn you just go topless and it'll be fine then you don't even have to worry about clothes and you know breastfeeding is just right there um yeah but what about letdown how about the milk pouring out everywhere Hey, it's me, the Mama and P. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time here, and if you're returning, uh, welcome back. Uh, I talk about mommy stuff, I talk about parenting and pregnancy. Um, I have a background as a nurse practitioner, so sometimes a little bit of that comes through as well. Um, but mostly we just talk about like day-to-day -day life and things that are important to us as moms. Today I thought I would share um, my top 10 most used, favorite, whatever you want to say, uh, postpartum items. Definitely leave me a comment and let me know what items were most uh, impactful for you, um, especially if we had any of the same ones. So here we go, no particular order. Um, the first one I, I would definitely recommend uh, to anybody would be a breastfeeding pillow. Now there's a lot of varieties out there, um, but the one that I seemed to like the best was my breast friend. Um, and honestly, the name just cracks me up. I can hardly even say it without being like, wow, that's super corny, but it gets its point across. Um, so the reason why I liked this particular breastfeeding pillow as opposed to like a Bobby, which I also have, um, is that it, it's firmer. So it has more like, it's, it's more secure, I, more supported. That's the word I'm looking for. It was more supportive um, and it clips around the back. So it's got a nice little back support thing, which is really nice, especially in the first days postpartum. I didn't ever use like the side pocket things or anything. Um, I think I really just liked it because it was more supportive than the boppy. I also used the boppy. Um, I used it more like laying in bed, whereas the my breast friend pillow i used more like in a recliner or on the couch or in the rocking chair um but yeah i just liked it better it worked better for me but honestly i would just say use whichever one works best for you whether that's the my breast friend or boppy or whatever one of the other varieties are the next item is nipple ointment the beginning days of breastfeeding are always a challenge um and skin tenderness, nipple soreness, cracks, bleeding, you know. I found that I didn't have any weird reactions to lanolin. Sometimes people are sensitive to some of the ingredients. Um, so you can get lanolin free ones. Um, I have both ones with lanolin, ones without, and I can't say that one in particular worked better for me than another. I liked them all when I needed them. Um, thankfully now in my breastfeeding journey, I don't need them as often. Another item that was really amazing for me was breastfeeding clothes, in particular, pajamas. I had people telling me, you know, like, oh, when you're home with your newborn, you just go topless and it'll be fine. Um, then you don't even have to worry about clothes and, you know, breastfeeding is just right there. Um, yeah, but what about letdown? How about the milk pouring out everywhere? Um, so going topless was not an option for me. Um, but breastfeeding clothes were super convenient. Um, as you can see here, I have a great breastfeeding shirt on right now, um, but I spent like the first month of my postpartum time uh, in bed. So having nursing pajamas has been really, really wonderful. Uh, makes everything so convenient. I'm still covered. Oh, it was also like winter when my baby was born. So it was cold. I didn't really wanna go topless. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, another item that has been really useful during postpartum, and I would say I use it a little bit less now, would be dry shampoo. Uh, this is a game changer for anybody in any walk of life, but especially when you're a new mom and you don't have time to hop in the shower whenever you feel like it, uh, or even, you know, more than a couple of times a week. So dry shampoo was really great in just helping me kind of feel a little bit more human um, on those days where I wasn't able to get in the shower. Um, it smelled nice, it was easy to use, it was fast, didn't have to put baby down for very long in order to use it, so definitely a win with the dry shampoo. Another item that has been a complete lifesaver, I don't know what I would have done without it, um, is this lovely rocking chair. 
Um, I got this rocking chair for free on Facebook. Um, and by the way, let me know if you're interested in a video about um, all of the things that I got for free for this pregnancy and um, baby stages uh, on Facebook and other online communities um, because I got a lot, let me tell you. Um, so, but back to the rocking chair. I spent the first two weeks when I wasn't in bed, I was in the rocking chair. Um, my poor baby had such a hard time latching. She had tongue ties and lip ties and it was just, it was really rough in the beginning and she was most comforted rocking in the chair, particularly at night. And it was also away from my husband so he could get a little bit of sleep too. So we lived in this rocking chair for the first like two weeks. Um, it's comfortable. It has a rocking ottoman that goes with it. It has some pockets on the side. Um, so rocking chair, definitely a plus for me. Um, in my next pregnancy, whenever that happens, um, I would like to upgrade for a little bit more comfortable one. As you can see, this one's wood and it's got a nice cushion on it, um, but the uh, seat cushion tends to sink down and it gets a little bit firm after, you know, three or four hours sitting in it. Uh, High-waisted postpartum panties. Gotta love those, um, but get the postpartum specific ones or like the tummy control ones uh, because it really feels nice to have a little bit of extra security. It kind of like squeezes everything in and there's they're so humongous that you're not worried about like leaking any blood or anything like that. Uh, yay. Um, they're really comfortable. Strongly recommend. Amazon sells them for like 20 bucks for a pack of five. Um, not much more to say about underwear. They're, they're a life necessity. Another thing that I really liked was this um, elastic wrap that I used uh, for back and belly support. Um, they have them for pregnancy, obviously, for like back support, but the postpartum ones are really nice too because, you know, it helps your uterus shrink down to size. Uh, it, it helps like your abdominal muscles kind of knit back together. It provides really great support. It helps your pants fit better. Um, <laughs> And with all of that, it gives you good back support too, especially for all the bending and carrying that you're doing in the first days while you're still physically recovering. Um, so you can get those for a wide variety of prices. Some of them have fancier clasps than others, um, but just a regular old elastic band with a Velcro that you can adjust the tightness. That's about what I used and I, I thought it was great. Another item that I really liked uh, was nipple shields. This goes back to my uh, difficulty with the, the first stages of breastfeeding, you know, with her lip ties and tongue ties. She didn't have a great latch. It was really uncomfortable. Okay, uncomfortable is an understatement. It was like really painful. It was, you know, think broken glass rubbing all over your skin in a very sensitive place. It was just not fun. It was horrible. Um, so nipple shields were such a godsend. Like I didn't even know these were a thing before, but her pediatrician recommended them to me because I was telling her about how uncomfortable I was. Um, so we were in the process of getting her lip and tongue ties, um, released, but in the meantime, I still needed to nurse her and she hasn't really taken bottles like at all during her life so far. Um, so nipple shields who knew they were amazing um wasn't it didn't make the the whole process completely pain-free but it made it so much more tolerable and she had no problem latching on with them and then once her ties were released and healed and she got used to you know opening her mouth wider for a better latch we gradually phased those out and now i don't need them anymore um, but you can bet that i held on to them because i probably will need them in my next delivery Honey Pot Pads. Uh, this is a specific brand that I used for, you know, the postpartum bleeding period. Um, these pads are, I think they're like 100% cotton and they're like no weird chemical-y things and they have ones with wings and ones without and they come in like eight different sizes. Um, the cool thing that I really liked about these pads in particular is some of them are herb infused. Like I didn't even know that was a thing, um, but apparently it is. Um, they have ones without and with, um, and the ones that have these herbal infusions are infused with, I think, lavender and peppermint and maybe one or two others, which was so soothing immediately postpartum. I only used those for the first like week to two weeks. Um, 
and they hold a surprising amount. I didn't have to change them more frequently than you would any other postpartum pad, like the giant ones they give you at the hospital. Um, and they actually make a postpartum size. So, I mean, that was helpful too. But the herbal infused ones, they make in all of their sizes, even like the day liners. Um, so by the time the bleeding was, you know, coming to an end, I was still able to make the use of those really fancy bougie pads. Yay. <laughs> um, but honestly, they were really great. Um, and I am a big fan of their products now. And I didn't even know about them before. So the last thing on my list of, you know, things that really made a difference for me postpartum, um, and I'm trying to think of things that aren't like super crazy obvious. Obviously some things are because that's just the nature of postpartum and having a new baby. Everybody kind of uses the same sort of stuff. So, um, but you know, the last thing that I could think of was snacks, right? Everybody needs to eat, but having things easily and readily available like uh, Lara bars, RX bars, those are ones that I really liked. Um, I had a stash of freezer meals and, you know, lactation cookies that I had made. Um, so I kind of strategically placed these all around the house where I was going to be, particularly, you know, by the uh, rocking chair, by my nightstand, um, some in the nursery. So like it was always accessible when I needed it. And bonus plus the snacks was water. Um, I'm not a big water drinker. It really took a lot for me to start hydrating myself better uh, throughout this pregnancy and then having the baby. So I would say um, having like a giant water bottle and then adding some kind of flavor. I really liked liquid IV, but then I found out they have a lot of sugar. So I've been trying to find a different one. Not sure uh, which water flavor thing I'm gonna use next. Um, but I've also been really big into coconut water lately. So whatever you can use to hydrate yourself is gonna be better than not hydrating at all. So that's what I've got for my top 10 most helpful postpartum items. Um, let me know what your thoughts are, uh, what items were most helpful for you, what made the biggest difference in helping you recover faster or what was more convenient. Um, and let me know what kind of content you'd like to see next. That's all I have for today. And as usual, I don't know how to end these. So like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.